Christie. How are you today? My name's Eva. I'm the director of the Scottish Yarn Festival and the Scottish Show Producer Showcase. The Scottish Yarn Festival is returning to Perth on the 9th and 10th of September. Tickets are available now from our website. And these Instagram Lives are a series of chats that we're having with some of our vendors ahead of the big event. So all being well today, I should be joined by Claire from We County Yarns. So I, oh, there you go. Claire is sending me an invite. She's one step ahead of me. I have accepted it, so I think it's just going to take us a wee moment. A lot of people are active at this time in the morning. Hello. Hello, Claire. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Glad it worked. Always a bit of a I apologise if the little... internet's a bit dodgy, so, but we'll, hopefully we'll have enough bandwidth. You'll be fine. And you're, you're becoming old hand at this now, coming in and having a wee live with me. <laughs> Quite sure I'd say that, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're streamlining the process. Let's say. We are definitely. So for those people tuning in who are maybe coming from my side and aren't aware of who you are, would you like to introduce yourself and a little bit about what it is you do? Um, I'm Claire and I've been doing Wee County Yarns for quite a while now, um, 14 years, something like that. Um, and we are based in central Scotland and I do designs um, and supported by my own range of yarns, which are all spun in Scotland and come in lots of colours here. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of me. I've been at every Perth so far, so looking forward to coming back. Yeah, because I think you were there for the very, very first one in 2016, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. yeah. At the last minute, I think I phoned you the week before and said, got any space? So. <laughs> we managed to get you in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it's been a long journey. And I think, you know, 2016, this has been going on mm -hmm. since. And, and we didn't take a break either. Um, mm -hmm. During the pandemic, we just we moved certain elements online. So we've been kind of continuous yeah. since then, which is, is crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's lovely to see a slightly different backdrop today. I never know what yeah. backdrop I'm going to get when we have a little live chat. Yep, I thought we'd go with the mini ball wall. So this extends that way. I've got about 100 colours back here of our little um, 10 grams of Scottish Yarny goodness um, spun up near Peterhead by Lucy Rennie. So I will be bringing this wall with me um, with some new colours, hopefully, if they arrive next week, which they're supposed to. So. So we're theming these wee chats today and we're asking you to show us three things that you cannot miss from your stall at the festival, which the mini balls may be one, they may be not, and who you don't want to miss from, mm. that, from that extensive vendor list as well. So shall we go um, with that, Ben? OK, so, um, yeah, I was thinking, you know, obviously I've been um, at the show before, so people may have seen the mini balls before but not if you're um, coming for the first time but I'm gonna have new designs most of which unfortunately I can't show you so <laughs> one thing that I can show you um, is we will have our advent calendar so we do an advent calendar with the mini balls every year and um, our 2023 advent calendar will be going live for pre-order next week so you can pre-order it on the website and then collect it at the show um, and this is last year's that I can show you. So this was last year's advent calendar. So you got 24 different colours and 24 different motifs. And we had a botanical theme with sort of flowers and, and leaves going on. Now this year, drum roll please, because I haven't put it out on the newsletter yet, but the theme for this year's advent calendar is going to be the medieval era, sort of medieval tapestries and, you know, rich damask kind of um, fabrics and things like that based on a trip I recently did to Linlithgow to watch the jousting with my kids. So I was like, oh, perfect. Lots of colours, rich colours, that sort of thing. So um, that's going to be on pre-order. And obviously it's a surprise, so I can't show you what the pattern looks like. Um, but we do have kits for previous years available as well. Um, so that uses the mini balls. So that's one thing. Um, I have, so we have King Ross Lace, um, which is the our lovely lambsall that's spun um, by Todd and Duncan, who are quite close to Perth, probably the nearest mill to you. 
um, and they spin up a, a lace weight for us. And we will hopefully be having two new colours in the lace weight, which I can't yet show you. But we do have a new design for a shawl that is, um, has not yet been viewed anywhere else. So just finishing testing at the moment. So we've got this lace getting shawl. all the exclusives to do then. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> like, because there's a load of stuff I can't show you, like new colours, because they're not here yet. So, um, so yes, yeah, so this is the, the lace shawl that will be debuting at the Perth Festival. So it's um, a crescent shape using one hank of the Kinross lace, which comes in these lovely big squishy 100 gram hanks. Um, so they have the, the lace shawl and the advent calendar. Um, two new colours in the Kinross that I can't show you. So that's our Kinross four ply, um, which we will currently have in 24 colours, but we should have in 26 colours by the time um, September rolls around. Um, and assuming they will arrive in time, which I'm sure they will. Um, this is one of our current colours, which is um, Glen, which is an absolutely gorgeous green. It's I love this one. But these are all 50 gram um, hanks of the Kin Ross. But um, the other thing that I thought I would mention so we always bring a range of needles. We've got quite an extensive range of Addy circulars um, and Knit Pro as well. And we've got the little 25 centimetre sock wonders, but I've been increasingly asked by people for 30 centimetres. And we've got 25, 40, 60, 80, 100. And everyone always picks the ones I haven't got. So I have started, um, I've just got in last week some 30 centimetre ones. Now, I haven't tried them yet. I don't know how they're better than the 25, but people seem to really want the 30 centimetres. So I thought I would get some in, um, try and try them first. Um, but yeah, so if 30, you're fixated on 30, like some people seem to, I will be able to cater for that. Um, so the 30 so, centimetres are actually a little bit easier for the decreases when you're sweater knitting. Right. Quite a lot of quite old now 30 centimetre mm. addies because that's what the local yarn shop to me that used to be here kind right. of stopped. That, that was, you know, rather that's, than Nipro Addy was where they went. So yeah. most of my particulars kind of started off as them and they are fantastic so I'll quite often sort of pick up the sleeves for a shoulder from yeah. doing raglan down 40 centimetres until you get to the point mm -hmm. where you've been doing this double decreasing yeah and, then and it's, it's like okay it's well, like, yeah. yeah you rather can't than, really keep the going yeah. all the way um but I, I was surprised I'd say it's interesting because I, I love Addy um and you know most of my circulars that I use are the Addy lace ones um but they see they must have like stopped doing a 30 and then reintroduced the 30 because there was a while when I couldn't get 30s and 50s and now I seem to be able to get 30s and 50s. But um, but yeah, so I'll, I shall give them a try because people are using them for socks as well. And I was like, well, I would have thought the 25s, but then I find the 25s quite small and finicky. So um, each to them. I'm more of a magic looper myself. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Some people do the magic loops. Some yeah. people like to do the cat boardy other needles where you've got the two short circulars and yeah. go back and forth. And that tends to be I, my preference for doing socks and getting to that point where yeah. I can't use twenty five centimeter anymore. But yeah, it's easy to find yeah. their thing, isn't it? And I think a lot of people yeah. like to race down a sleeve. Mm. You've got your forty centimeter. You can't do any more. A thirty is just mm. perfect because the twenty five yeah. can be just too cramped. Yeah. But yeah, as Nina and Glenn says, maybe good for a large sock. Yeah, if you're doing mm. big sort of masculine sized, or my size, which is rather than sixty four. You know that but, that extra yeah, yeah. centimeters it's, makes it's, makes a difference. It's something we get a lot on the stall because we have a big range of needles. We often get people coming and asking, you know, can I buy some needles for socks? Um, and uh, I, I'm like, oh yes. How do you like to knit socks? And they're like, oh. so we've always got stuff out to try. So I'll, I'll uh, we've got a 25 um, on the go that people can try. But I'll put a 30 out as well to see, you know, if people prefer which ones they like. So if you need a mini lesson on how to magic loop, then it's all. I've got all my test test pieces out for people to try. So um, because we do we do have a lot of needles that we bring along. So always good um but yeah. yeah and and then you asked a really difficult question about who i want to, <laughs> who I'm looking forward to seeing i'm like oh don't ask me that because everyone it's what's so nice about the show is that you know you come back and you see all the 
lovely vendors that you've got to know over the years and um and then there's new people so i was trying to think um i saw that i you did the live with the lady from soft accents last week and i, I met her in uh, we both did wonderwall for the first time and met each other in the queue and she said she was coming up um in september and i was like oh i'll be an old hand because we we're both sitting there going where do we park and, um but i never got to have a look at her stall because I wasn't allowed off my stool because my husband was helping me and he thought people might ask him difficult questions. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I'd like to check out her stuff. And I think you've got Abby McIntyre coming, the crochet designer. Get your hook on, yes. Yeah, get your hook on. Um, and her stuff is just stunning. Um, and it's the, the crochet stuff I'm desperately trying to um, get more into. I've got two patterns, which I'm hoping will be ready um for september but um but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing her and what new designs because i'm on her facebook group and there was an amazing one that she did caledonia um i don't know whether she'll have that one with her but um but yeah looking forward to seeing her and yeah, everyone who i know so all the all the all the lovely people i've been making friends with over the years yeah, so Deb, um, Abby's going to be there both days for about an hour or so, popping up in the Sealy McQueely Explorium, I think we've called it. Hey, <laughs> I had to think for a minute there because we played about with so many different names. <laughs> so yeah, we've got some designer pop-ups happening up there and Abby goes by the design name of Get Your Hook On, which yeah. is, is brilliant. So, but her her designs are they're outstanding. Yes. She's got like a yeah. fantastic chicken blanket as well. It's covered in all sorts of different coloured chickens. And I think I think Cyberpunk was working on that. And if he isn't, then he should really should pick it up again. So we'll just we'll see that here to kind of guilt him back into picking yeah. it up. <laughs> they are. I mean, so she does. You know, because most of the stuff I do is quite little, obviously, with you know lots and lots of colours and quite small. And her designs are very colourful, but they're huge. You know, big Afghan things. Um, so I've often scaled them down a lot um, when I've been doing it because I'm looking at this going, I'm, you know, you wouldn't be able to carry it around. It's enormous, but, um, but they're amazing to look at. So I shall make the small version and admire the big versions. I think. Claire, it's always a delight to have you on. And despite all these secret sort of projects and things that are going on, you've had plenty to show us. And yeah, I mean, I would like to say you're quite famous now. I mean, you've been doing this for a while, but you are really famous for your mini balls. You've put yourself out there. You've developed your own custom yarn brand with with the Kinross, which has had a lot of traction within sort of like the sort of knitting podcast sort of world yeah. as well. So it's wonderful to see that happening. And yeah, just really looking forward to welcoming you back. Yeah, and I can't wait. And I'm, I'm I think I'm quite ready. I'm. I'm not moving the camera because I'm literally like, <laughs> if I sneeze, then mini balls will start falling on top of me and hanks of Kim Ross that need labels. And um, But I think I'm, I'm on track anyway, so. Yeah, well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, everybody who's joined in. If you want one of the advent calendars and they come highly recommended, mm. when do they go open for pre-order? Do you have a date okay. for that yet? Um, they, they should be up by the first week in August. So. Okay, first week in and August, but you've got a newsletter, so go get signed up yeah. to the newsletter. Oh, we will have some, if we don't pre-order them, we should have some on, on the stall, but I um, can't promise how many extras we'll have with us. So. Yeah, so August. it's definitely the best the best way to secure one if that's something that you're interested in if you can't wait to get your hands on one of claire's fantastic knitting kits all their mini balls and all those are free patterns that she's got on her website to support them mm -hmm. or the kinross lace or the needles or anything else if you are putting on an online um order please do just stick on a wee customer note saying that you've seen this live you know if this is what's kind of prompting you to make that purchase it just helps us keep track of of everything because not all sales happen at the festival and it's sometimes mm -hmm. kind of difficult to kind of see where the, where they're coming from mm -hmm. and to help our vendors plan which which events work best for them i think full is it phil Sparat is saying yeah. i'm looking forward to the calendar oh. Place. Yeah, it's quite Lovely. nice. We often get repeat custom, um, you know, a lot of people who buy the calendar one year buy it the next year, so it must be fun. Fine. But your designs are fantastic. I mean, why why would you not go back when you find something that you're 
that works for you and you get a lot of joy out of. Yeah, and they're quite addictive, the little mini balls. So. They really are. Mm. So we'll wrap this up there. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, everyone. Yep, thank you. If you're just tuning in now, I will save this in a moment to our grid on our Instagram so you can just go back and watch from the beginning again so you don't need to worry about missing out and I'll also upload this to our YouTube channel as well. Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you. Bye.